Hey everyone, it's Gosh Warrior 92 here, and um, I'm going in this video. I'm going to be talking about the uh, VGAs, or if you prefer VGA, um, and I'm going to talk about basically the awards and what I think of them, and then I'm going to go straight into some of the major news releases. I'm going to just let you all know I'm going to be leaving the Bioware stuff until the end because I do have a bit to say about that. Um, one on the new, um, one on their new release, and of course the Mass Effect 3 trailer. I'll get to that probably at the end because I do have a lot to say about that. Um, so firstly, I've got about three. I've got, look at all these notes. Look at all these fucking notes. Um, firstly, I'll just say one thing. I did. I want to say one thing um, to the producers. Get better writers. No offense, Zach. Le Zachary Levi, if you don't know, plays Chuck on the TV series. Done an okay job hosting. I'll say that right now. But I, I kind of didn't laugh a lot doing this. The only things I laughed at was the tea bag guy and maybe Felicia Day's things backstage which were kind of pointless in my opinion. I'm not going to talk about them in this time, but just say they were kind of pointless. Um, just get better writers please. And please get some writers who actually play games because the jokes you were saying halfway through the se through there were like, what? Uh, so yeah, that's just why I get that out of the way. Um, well, firstly, I just got to say there was actually quite a good amount of release uh, reveals, world premieres, if you will, during the VGAs. Normally, there's a decent one or two, but this one actually had quite a few. I'll happily admit. Um, one of the first ones that was released on the pre-show was the Hitman trailer. And um, I have played the Hitman games in the past, and I did enjoy them. Um, they weren't as good. They, they, were, they were mainly just for like the challenge of them. I didn't play them for the story; I just played them for the challenge mostly. So the trailer was decent. I gave it a seven out of ten for trailers. Um, very good, very action packed, uh, but nothing to grab back in. It was mostly just an, a, 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 a teaser trailer, if I can, but a lot longer than that. Um, and then they announced some awards at the pre-show. Best fighting game went to Mortal Kombat. I'm not too fussed about. I'm going to go talk about that. Um, um, I'll get to the next bit later on. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, Bastion won about three awards um, for best downloadable game and two other awards I'll say, but I don't know, I can't remember them at the moment. Um, new Tekken trailer, I wasn't a big Tekken fan so I can't really say much about it, but I give it a, seven, I give it a 6 out of 10 for trailers. Um, now let's get to the start. Um, the opening was fairly decent. I have seen better openings, I think they could do a lot better. Um, and another thing I want to say, the augmented reality was fun for like the first five minutes. But after that it was kind of like, okay, what the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> um, if, you did, if you didn't watch it, they had the augmented reality. There's a major thing going about how augmented reality is the future of gaming. I didn't want to see half the shit on the stage, if I'm going to be honest. The augmented reality is a gimmick at the moment. They haven't perfected it, they haven't done a lot with it, and the only console that uses it at the minute is the, P is the 3DS. I do know the Kinect uses it to some extent. But overall, all I can say is the augmented reality is quite a while off from being perfected, so it was kind of a gimmick, and it kind of got dull after a while. Um. What's next? Oh, I will say one thing. I am buying a fucking PS3. I'm saying that right fucking new. Um, Naughty Dog, the makers of the Uncharted, have announced a new game. This was rumored for a while. Um, it's called The Last of Us. It looks like a it looks like a third person, possibly mixed with RPG survival horror game. I want this game. That that's how much I love the fucking trailer. The trailer was fucking amazing. I'll give that to Naughty Dog, they, they know how to make game trailers. I was like, oh my god, I want this game. I am buying a PS3. If this doesn't come out in Xbox 360, I am buying a PS3 for my birthday, for my Christmas, whenever the fuck I can get one. Because this game, even though it's the only the cinematic reveal trailer, looks brilliant. It's the only the cinematic, but normally with uh, Naughty Dog, the cinematic trailer is almost virtually identical to the gameplay night set the time, especially with the cinematics. So I can't wait to see one more from this game. I will be getting a PS3 eventually, hopefully, so yeah, I look forward to that. Um, also, no surprise here, um, the winner for Best Action Game, actually, Best Action Adventure Game, Best Adaptation Game, and Best Xbox 360 Game was Batman Arkham City. That was no surprise to me. Um, that it definitely deserves that award. Um, best Xbox 360 Game? Definitely. Uh, best Adaptation Game. Not only Best Adaptation of the Year, but Best Adaptation Game Ever. I'll say that right now. 
the right now, that deserves that award. Um, there was there was Bioware's major release new reveal next, but I'm, as I said, I'm leaving that to the end. Along with Bioware Mass Effect Future, I want to get a lot into say about that. Um, another reveal was the Rainbow Six for Patriots. I never played the Rainbow Six game, so I'm not going to comment too much on it. But the trailer was fairly decent. Give it a six out of ten for trailers. Um, the Alan Wake trailer. Now I didn't play the original. I have played a little bit of Alan Wake, the original one. I haven't played the full thing because um, I don't have a lot of time when I go to a loan off a pal. I had to give it back to him. Um, but overall, I think I, it looks pretty damn decent. It's an Xbox Live exclusive. It was going to be released episodically. So that could be quite interesting, so we'll have to wait and see with that, but I must admit it looks pretty damn awesome. Uh, very survival horror-esque. Finally, a decent survival horror game. Um, and then, of course, there was this major thing, Zelda wins. Zelda, of course, got inducted into the Spec TV Gaming Hall of Fame, which is something I think they started this year. Which, I think I think it's well done. It's re recognition for all the innovations that Zelda has brought throughout the years. 25 years of Zelda. Yeah. That's a long fucking time. <laughs> um, but overall, I say the congratulations to them. I don't think there was the guys not played out too much. Although I wasn't the only one who was kind of hoping that I can't. I honestly, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce his name. Um, got tea bagged. Yeah. Um, amazing. There was also an amazing Spider-Man release trailer. I'll say this right now. I have. I have. I've only played um, Shattered Dimensions. And they have yet to perfect the Spider-Man formula for games, I'll say that right now. So overall, the trailer was decent. Not the best trailer in the world I've ever seen, but overall, I give it a 6. Um, best PS3 game, and another award I scribbled down, went to Uncharted, I'm not surprised with that. Uh, best Wii game, of course, Zelda. Best independent game, Minecraft, I don't care. Um, I actually can't read the I actually can't read my own fucking writing. <laughs> um... Yeah, I can't read my mind. And then I'll say this right now. Portal 2 fucking cleaned the slate. Not only did it win Best PC Game, it won Best DLC, it won Best Female Performance, it won Best Male Performance. Portal 2 fucking cleaned out the VGAs. I'll say that right now. Congratulations, Portal 2 and Valve. And of course, I am going to be getting Portal 2 for Christmas, hopefully. So, I'm definitely getting it now. So, yeah. Portal 2, congratulations. Um... Uh, the new transfer so again, transfer the new Transformers game trailer was released. Very dull trailer, very nothing new. Um, so trailer was decent, and of course best shooter. That we need to say it went to Call of Duty, and you know how I feel about Call of Duty. Great graphics, great gameplay. In my opinion, not the kind of I'm never picking up that game. Um, Epic, the creators of Gears of War, announced a new game called Fortnite. Which looks to me like a tower defense game, if I'm going to be honest, but I could be wrong. Um, can I just say one thing about the next subject, Gamer God Award? Who came up with that fucking name? Who came up with that name? And guess who it went to? It went to Blizzard Entertainment. Now, don't get me wrong, Blizzard have made one, two, three. Three games and a shitload of DLC. MMOs. I'll say that right now. Do I think they deserve it? Personally, not. They've only released three games, and fair enough, they are MMOs. But I don't think they deserve the title of Game of Gods. Um, so I'll say that right now. Um, Bioshock Infinite. I'm fucking looking forward to this game. I did play the original Bioshock. I did play Bioshock 2. Um, but Bioshock Infinite, I am fucking looking forward to it. It looks amazing. It looks gorgeous. It looks beautiful. And all I can say is I can't wait to play this game. And then let's get to the three big awards. Gamer, game of the year and character of the year. Character of the year, instantly, no, no surprise there, went to Mark Hamill's Joker from Arkham, Arkham City. Congratulations, congratulations, Joker. Let's put a smile on that face. No, wrong Joker, wrong Joker. Um, I'm not even going to attempt to do a Mark Hamill impression. <laughs> um, so congratulations to the Joker, well deserved, definitely game, game character of the year. Uh, just for being the joke. Um, and then, of course, Game of the Year, um, Studio of the Year, and RPG of the Year went to Skyrim and Bethesda. No surprise there, in my honest opinion. Sky but actually, a little bit of a surprise there. Due to, with Spike, I was kind of expecting like another game to get it. Like, I don't know, Call of Duty, or Batman, or um, Zelda. But actually, they gave it to Skyrim, which i got to give major props to them. Skyrim well deserves Game of the Year. I'm not surprised. 
Um, we'll wait and see what other game. We'll wait and see what the other um, websites say. But in my opinion, Skyrim, well done, congratulations. Definitely earned game of the year. And then, of course, there was the Metal Gear Solid um, Rising Revengeance trailer, which was fucking amazing. I must admit, a pretty damn awesome trailer. Um, but I've not, I, I'll say this right now. I've only played one Metal Gear Solid game in my life. And I thought it was okay. And I'll tell you right now, it was four, which was basically like playing a movie. It wasn't really a game, it was a movie, that was about it. Um, so yeah, that's about all for the VGAs. Overall, the show was very decent. Um, could have been done a lot better. I think they need to get new writers. Um, but overall, I think they've done all right. Very entertaining show, some funny bits, but overall, not really that. Not 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 bad, but pretty damn old. But fairly, fairly, fairly good. Could have done a lot better, in my opinion. Um, so let's get to the big news, the one that I was mainly watched the VGAs for, um, Bioware's new game, and the Mass Effect 3 trailer. Let me just say one thing about Bioware's new game, what the fuck? Command and Conquer. Command and Conquer. Does that sound like an RPG? Uh, I was really worried that this was going to happen. It's, if you don't know what Command & Conquer is, Command & Conquer is an RTS game. A real-time strategy game. I've played a little bit of the Command & Conquer in the past. It's not to my liking, but as a, as a playable game. But... Bioware! EA! What the fuck? I thought you were announcing a new RPG. Instead, you're bringing back a game series that, in my opinion, probably should not be brought back, or at least if it's going to be brought back, be brought back by people who make RTS games. Instead, you're giving them to people that make RPG games. RTS RPG. Where's the connection? I, I was disappointed beyond belief. I'll say that right now. I thought maybe Bioware were going for a um, a wartime RPG or something, but instead we get Command and Conquer. Command and Conquer. Fuck you, EA. Fuck you, Bioware, for that simple thing. No, I love Bioware, but what in the name made them even think Command and Conquer? I can tell you right now, if it's just an RTS game, I won't be getting it. I love Bioware, but I am not an RTS gamer. I am not a real-time strategy gamer. It's not to my liking, I don't like the games in particular. I may pick it up, but the odds are I won't because I'm not an RTS. Sorry, Bioware. Major letdown. I'll say that right now. A major letdown to uh, Bioware fans since Knights of the Old Republic. I don't think Bioware should touch the real-time strategy with a 10-foot barge bowl. I think they should have went to an RPG. But of course I'm not going to say anything, anything more about it besides that I'm pissed, annoyed, and I was majorly let down. I'll say that right now about the Bioware new game. It's not even a new game. It's a fucking release, remake, spin-off, whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's not a new game. Command & Conquer has like fucking 10 games. Why not just give it to the people that made fucking Command and Conquer? Why give it to one of the best RPG game makers? That's like giving fucking Gears of War 3 to the people that made fucking Viva Pinata. What the fuck? Can you imagine? Viva Pinata, Gears of War. Gears of Pinata. Pinatas of War. Would you give Gears of War, the creators, the Gears of War franchise, to the people that made Viva Pinata. No, you win. It'd be a fucked up game. I'll say that right now. So why give Command and Conquer to an RPG game game designer? It makes no sense. It makes no fucking sense. Oh, and I got there. I'll probably end up doing a full video on this, but overall, I can say. Disappointed, and was like, what the fuck? And then my hopes were lifted, with the Mass Effect 3 trailer. Firstly, congratulations to Mass Effect 3 for winning the fan-voted most anticipated game of 2012. 
No surprise there. Say that right now. But I must admit, the trailer, combined gameplay and cinematics, was fucking amazing. It made my day. It made the entire show bearable. Freaking amazing. The graphics look outstanding from the gameplay. And they showed James Vega off a little bit. He does swear. And they believed it, which was pretty funny. Um, they also showed Commander Shepard basically running towards a Reaper. Which was fucking amazing. Uh, they also showed off a new enemy. They, you only get a glimpse of it, but it looks like a Yark to me, if I'm going to be honest. From what I saw, it looked like a husk. Um, a Yark husk, if I'm going to be honest. And then, of course, they had a Reaper versus a Thresher Maw. How more epic can it get? A Reaper versus a Thresher Maw. It was freaking amazing! Absolutely outstanding trailer, I'll say that right now. Well, well made the night. My highlight of the night, I'll say that right now. It was fucking amazing, very well done, very cinematic, really getting you hyped up for the game. I can't wait for this. I'm a little disappointed that they didn't show the Femshep trailer, I'm still waiting for that. Um, but overall, the trailer was absolutely, absolutely brilliant. I loved it. It got me even more excited about for the game. And then just seeing a fresh Amor versus a fucking Reaper was just like, oh my fucking god! I want this game! Fuck Christmas! Fast forward to March! Hit the fast forward button on time! I really want to get this game. Um, overall, I can just say right now, it was an absolute brilliant trailer. Uh, I can't wait to see more from, from Mass Effect 3. So, that's what I can say. So, um, overall, in the Bioware aspect, Command & Conquer, what the fuck, Mass Effect 3, fucking amazing. Simple as. Um, so let me know what you thought of the VGA was. Did you like them? Did you hate them? Um, what do you also think of the new Bioware game and also all the other stuff that was released during the VGAs? Um, I've given my opinion on it, and overall I thought the VGAs were alright. Um, they weren't brilliant, they've still got a long way to go, they need better writers. Um, fuck, I could probably write better jokes than that, and I'm not funny at all. Uh, but overall, I'll just say right now, um, good show, very well done. The augmented reality was pretty dull after a while. BioWare's news was kind of bittersweet. Um, better with Command & Conquer, sweet with Mass Effect 3. So, that's about it. That's all I can say. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section, down below. Um, and as always, I'm Scottish Warrior 92, and I'll see you all.